Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build one of the most insane solo bases on the server. Now, if you guys didn't watch the last solo series video, make sure to go check that out. There's only going to be a small two part series just towards the end of the season. And this right here is the last part of the series. OK, this is going to be a really short one, only like, I don't know, not even a week long of a series, just because I wanted to fit this in at the end of the season for the new people if they don't know how to build walls or anything like that. But yeah, make sure to go check out the last video. It's titled like how to play factions as a solo with no rank or something like that. And if you don't want to go watch that video, then I'm pretty much going to explain what you did. Basically, if I go into slash Rome, you guys can see we pretty much gen this first wall right here. This is the base. This is what it's looking like. We built ourselves a cactus farm, as you can see right here. This is what's uh, making us our money right now. And obviously, I'm hoping nobody finds this base, but I know eventually somebody will. So we're going to have to protect this thing with some more walls to make it more difficult to raid. And that is exactly what we're going to be going over in today's video. So if you guys are excited, make sure to drop a like on today's video. And also, if you guys are looking forward to playing on the new reset, the server is actually going to be resetting on factions on Friday. So yeah, literally, I, let me look up the date. Actually, I don't know the exact date. It should be the 27th of October. Everything gets wiped clean and everybody will have a completely fresh start. So yeah, that's going to be the best time to play. If you guys want to do that, make sure you guys are hopping on the server using Robbie.mccomplex.com. Using that server IP, it does directly support me. So I do very much appreciate it if you guys put my name at the front of your IP like that. It ensures that I'm able to keep making these videos here on this server now guys i've been talking enough at the start of this video kind of a long intro but yeah let's just get straight into it so the first thing even before i start doing any base work something i forgot to mention in the last video is buying the greenhouse enchant buddy slash eights so let's go to uh the item search right here click on this we're gonna type in greenhouse and if you guys don't know what greenhouse is this is basically an enchant that you can buy looks like there's one for 5 million there's 1.5 mil here we'll probably have to go greenhouse four just because i'm kind of broke and i don't have a lot of money i don't have like five mil to drop on it but basically as you can see greenhouse five right here this uh crops within 18 blocks of you will grow faster so that's pretty much what that does so if i go up there and uh, fly up by the uh, cactus farm up there and i put that enchant on my helmet basically it'll make all the cactus with an in an 18 block radius grow way way faster so it'll increase the efficiency of this farm by a lot so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and try to get that i know i have some cactus in here that i'm actually gonna go ahead and sell from afking this so i'm gonna go ahead and sell all of this cactus i think the whole thing is full honestly so we're gonna go ahead and sell this cactus really quick and i'll bring you guys back and see how much money we actually have all right guys so we just sold all the cactus in our collection chest right over there and we're up to five hundred sixty five thousand dollars right now so that should be enough to buy a greenhouse four enchant if i type slash or greenhouse right in here click this and it looks like greenhouse four right here there's a one million dollar one. Oh, did it sell oh no all right guys i might need to take a trip back to the dark zone if you guys don't know i actually went dark zone last video and uh we got some stuff there we got some uh money there that was pretty good but i might have to go there for longer today i'm not completely sure i'm really hoping there's nobody in war zone and that i don't die if i go down here and there's somebody right down there that's gonna be super annoying but we're probably gonna end up trying to go back to dark zone there's a guy in iron armor i'm not worried about him just worried about anybody in like a god's yeah there's a dark zone entrance right here i think we're gonna go ahead and grind out dark zone guys and uh i guess i'll just bring you guys back when i have a little bit more money because i really want to get that greenhouse enchant oh my gosh all right i gotta get out of here all right guys so i've been grinding out dark zone for a little bit and i've made a lot of money i just made a trip back not too long ago to store everything i haven't really kept much on me oh my gosh dude i'm about to die i keep forgetting how much damage these things do i keep <laughs> forgetting i can't run out here dude yeah so i've literally just been sitting back here the one with the bow is super annoying there's not usually a lot that spawn with bows i need to kill that thing oh my gosh i for oh i must have splashed these with strength or something on action but we're about to die dude i might have to get out of here dude all right but yeah i've been pretty much selling everything like i got a money pouch here. i've just been selling really quick in case i die so then i don't lose anything that's on me and making freaking twip uh trips back to my f home and uh storing everything in chests that i've gotten but we're up to almost 1.4 million dollars now i'm gonna kill this last zombie and uh then i think we're gonna get out of here there's only three other people in dark zone there's not very many i think it's probably because of the end of the season not a lot of people are grinding right now because the map is about to reset yeah out of there actually that was really good we got a skeleton and zombie spawner and an xp pouch and some diamonds so i'm just gonna go ahead and sell all that because i literally don't need any of those spawners that actually got us a lot of money there but yeah let's get out of here i need to find a dark zone exit portal i think there's one just sitting right over here yeah there's one literally right here let's right click this and uh, hopefully there's nobody here quick f home crouch nobody sees me oh my gosh there's a guy right there oh my gosh okay that was a little bit scary but we made it back that's good and now hopefully that greenhouse enchant is still on the auction house if i type in greenhouse please still be there okay it is which is good now 81 percent. i don't want to spend money or xp on 
uh whatever they're called i forgot lucky gems so we might need to buy some lucky gems i don't really want to spend money on that but we got the greenhouse four right here let's do slash ce can i do that oh i don't have a rank so i have to go slash warp infuser actually instead which uh pretty much is the same thing normally you can do a command and it uh pops open like a menu for this but i forgot i have to go all the way over here because i don't have a rank lucky gems are 5,000 uh xp each so we can really only buy one of these which kind of sucks we're just gonna buy this throw it on here pretty much if you guys don't know what those do that increases the success percent of the enchant that you're trying to do please work okay it did thank the lord dude 83 percent. that's pretty low usually you want 90 or above i honestly usually do 95 percent and higher just to ensure that it like almost 100 works but yeah now we have the greenhouse four enchant which is going to make our crops grow way faster we just have to afk up there now close to the farm so guys i kind of just wanted to start off the video by saying that like the greenhouse enchant that was probably that probably took a while because i had to go dark zone and everything too but honestly i think is what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna probably go back to dark zone and do some more grinding because i'm gonna need quite a bit of money to build this base you're probably gonna need more than a couple million dollars so i only have uh 455 000 right now which is not very good so i'm gonna go back to dark zone grind that out for a couple hours i'm gonna be sitting here for a while hopefully get like five to ten million dollars or something like that and hopefully we will then have enough money to finish off this base all right guys so it is now a bit later and we have done some grinding in the dark zone successfully we currently have 5.269 million dollars to my name so that should be enough to get started on the base i have no idea how much it's going to cost to gen and walls but if i need to i'll go back to dark zone now if i go slash home top i don't think this will actually bring me to the top i think i messed up my home so it might just be like yeah it's like in the wall up here so i gotta dig up here actually oh man i forgot to bring a pickaxe so it looks like we're doing this with our fists this is gonna be a lot of fun wait hold on slash kit please tell me a starter kit's a thing oh my wait i just paid money for that no way okay whatever i did not think that would cost money i thought starter kit came for free i don't know who would want any iron armor but i guess we just spent that on accident okay whatever so the first thing you're going to want to do is start by building trays if you don't know what trays are basically you're going to want to go and buy a bunch of nether axe so i'm just going to start buying a bunch of this It's super cheap which is good we're going to go quickly out here two blocks and uh, this is basically going to be the layout of the base so you're going to go around this is where your walls are going to be i'm going to do a couple wrap walls first and basically you're going to gen in walls under these blocks it's going to make it a lot easier when you come to actually need to gen in the walls uh having this uh these trays done because when they're all done if the if you guys know what i mean you can literally just go under all of these and place gen buckets and then break the uh, top of these and then it's super easy so yeah we'll do like two more uh wrap walls here probably and then i think we're gonna go into regen walls which i'll have to explain those those are a little bit confusing all right so this one's done as well this is just the layout you're gonna want to leave in a space in between because this is where the water is gonna flow down so you're gonna have a wall genning down here and a wall genning down here if that makes sense with the cobblestone gen buckets and then you're gonna want to put water in between the walls to protect them from uh, tnt and stuff and now here is where i'm going to do the regen wall now i do not remember how to do the trays for these i'm gonna have to look up from an old video i did because usually i don't actually uh build regions on my own i usually have them laid out by other faction members that i play with or people that i play with and then i just do like the lava bucket part of it so yeah honestly i'm just gonna get started on the trays i'm gonna uh put the regen wall trays in the uh time lapse that i end up doing so just make sure to watch that through and uh, you'll kind of get an idea on how to do them and uh, yeah i guess i'll just bring you guys back when the trays are done All right, so it is now a little bit later and we've got a decent start here on the trays. I decided to do cobblestone because I'm gonna have to replace it anyway. So it might be smarter to just use cobblestone because we're gonna be doing cobblestone walls. I would do obsidian, but I mean, it's not, I mean, you don't really have to. Both can be exploded by TNT. Obsidian just, you know, it's a little bit stronger, but either way they're gonna get through. So I feel like obsidian is just a waste of money, especially if, if you're on a budget like I am and don't have a lot of money. So that's why we're going with cobble walls. I don't really think it matters, honestly. As long as you have a uh, cobble and water over them, it doesn't really Really matter too much so right here like i said in the previous clip we have our two wrap walls just around our base and then we have our regen walls these are going to be regen walls so if somebody shoots at it uh, there's going to be lava here and water flowing on the outside and then cobblestone coming down on these uh obsidian blocks right here and basically is what happens is if somebody shoots like let's say here will be the wall gen basically they'll break through and then the lava will flow into the water kind of that's over here and it will regenerate the block so it's literally like an infinite regening uh like wall 
those are going to take so much time to do because you need to fill in each little block full of lava source blocks so it's going to be a whole process to do it takes a long time but i'm going to explain that later in the video and right here we have as simple as can be just regular straight walls you know i'll take my uh gen bucket and just go straight down place them on each one they'll go all the way down and uh, like i said we'll fill water in between each one and that's pretty much all i have right now for trays honestly i'm probably going to end up putting some sand walls over here some pillar defenses but yeah, guys, that is pretty much the plan. I'm going to get straight to work, though. I think I'm going to work on finishing the trays completely, lay literally everything out, and then just going straight into grinding. So I want to hopefully have this base done or near done in the next clip. That is going to be the goal here. I'm just going to grind this out, okay? I don't want to waste too much more time. You guys kind of get the idea. Uh, so yeah, I'm actually not going to do the regen walls right away. I lied. I'll do everything but the regen walls. So I'm going to do a big time lapse here, and I will bring you guys back in a couple of hours when I've grinded this whole thing out. All right, so the base is nearly finished here. If I go out of F5, you guys will be able to see. We have all of the walls completely watered. We added in some sand walls right here. This base is nothing crazy, by the way. This is a very simple looking base. Literally, we just got two wrap walls right here, and we have a set of regens that is not finished, which we're going to finish those in a minute here, and then it's literally just straight walls for quite a bit. I mean, it doesn't need to be super complex like your base or anything. It can be pretty simple. I did forget to water in between these walls, so I should probably go and do that really quick. I'm just going to put water in between here all right that looks better so now the only thing we really have left to do is going to be these regen walls right here now if you guys don't know how regen walls work they're pretty difficult to understand i feel like uh basically inside of the regen wall in here we're gonna have to put lava and each single block has to be a source block so that means i have to go all the way down there to the bottom place a lava bucket here 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 and go all the way down and up and, and in between each one of these things right along here so this is going to take me probably an hour on its own. I honestly don't even know if I want to finish the regen walls. I don't know if I should. I have to go to bed soon. And I don't think this base is going to get raided considering it is the end of the season. Nobody's really raiding. And uh, this is going to be cleared here in a couple days anyways. I might explain how they work and that sort of thing just for the sake of the video. And there's really no point in me finishing this. There's nothing inside of this base. If I was doing a longer series, I would, of course, finish this when I was doing my last solo series, which was a little bit longer than this one. I did finish the regen wall but honestly the server resets in like one to two days from this uh the time i'm recording this right now i think it's two days well three days until reset the server closes in two days so there's really no point in me spending another hour hour and a half however long it's going to take me to lava this and then water it and all of that so we're just going to go ahead and explain this to you guys so for example i'm not going to go all the way down but pretend you're all the way at the you know what? i will go all the way down just to explain it a little bit better Okay, we're all the way down at bedrock right now. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to obviously probably going to want fire resistance, but I don't think I have fire resistance. So we're not going to uh, have that on me. I'm just going to have to be very careful. Very, very careful. Oh, I can't talk. But you guys can see I have to place this in every single block because every single block of lava has to be a source block. It can't be flowing is what it cannot do is it cannot go like this. It can't flow down like that. And uh, that's going to kill me, isn't it? No. Okay, we're good. It cannot do that. It literally has to be a source block everywhere. Okay, that's what I didn't want to happen. I didn't want to die from lava. But you guys see what I mean? You have to place it in between each little thing right here. And uh, yeah, it's pretty time consuming. Like we got to still go all the way up there. And you have to do that for each part of the regen, which is it takes forever, which is why I'm not going to do it. And I know there is a special way that you actually have to water your regen walls. I don't exactly know how to do that, though. We're going to pretend like all of these uh, regen walls are filled with lava here. Even though we're not, we can just pretend it's fine. And I'm going to really quickly look up how to do the water part because I have not built regions in a couple months and I cannot quite remember. So I guess I'll just bring you guys back when I actually know. All right, guys. So I literally went and rewatched the first uh, How to Faction solo video that I did because I honestly forgot myself and I explained it back to myself. This is how you pretty much set it up. You're going to want to put the water. Let me get my infinite water bucket right here. So you guys see how I have this netherrack laid up right here is what you're going to want to do is you want this to flow into a current into here. So it will actually regen. It has to be flowing into this direction. So you're going to want to set it 
it up like this and put water in between uh like that kind of into these middle blocks here and then after you're done with that i'm just gonna break these really quickly go like this and uh get these broke did i break that one i did okay so break this one here and then after you do all of that you can now break this and it should flow all together but now you have that water flow that kind of goes in towards the regen because most people uh is what they might do is that it, this is what i was gonna do my first instinct at least uh before i knew what i was doing a while ago you just place water all on the outside here no it has to be actually flowing into the regen wall to for it to work so then as you can see if i break like this i believe it should the water should flow into here or something like that like it should flow no, no 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 okay never mind i'm wrong i guess the lava will flow out but you know what i mean basically the water does need to be flowing in the direction of the region wall so if it looks something like this it's probably right but uh i recommend you guys do it with the little setup that i did there and yeah, guys, that is pretty much how you build yourself a god solo base right there. I don't know if I'd call this a god base, honestly. We're going to do it anyways for clickbait on the video. You know, you got we got to get you guys to click on the video somehow. <laughs> but I mean, this is a pretty solid base if I were to finish the regens. I mean, I feel like having regens makes it a lot harder for any smaller faction to raid you. So your uh, chances of getting raided goes uh, down significantly, which is good. Because me personally, I have no idea how to raid regions. All I know is that you have to bust through them. You pretty much have to like mess up the water flow and the lava. Something like that. I don't know. I don't exactly even know how it works. But I alone could not even get through a region wall. I'm not really a cannoner, so I don't know. But that's pretty much, you know, region walls really help. They're very important. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like on today's video. And uh, guys, the server IP is robbie.mccomplex.com. Once again, make sure to hop on if you guys do want to support me and play on the number one faction server out there. And yeah, the MC complex reset is going to be friday it's this friday let me look what day that actually is i believe it is the 27th yep october 27th at 5 p.m esc make sure to hop on guys i'm gonna upload a video after this video a couple days later uh just kind of explaining some information about the release and everything so yeah guys make sure to go watch that video if you are planning on playing the next season